Mom, don't worry about it. I'll get the medicine. It's not an issue. I'll, uh, I'll swing by after dinner. Come on, honey. You got everything? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me call you back. Bye-bye. Come on. Excuse me. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Leslie. <laughs> um, sorry about that. It's lots of boxes to move. <laughs> oh, who's this pretty little um, princess? Excuse me. Head to the door. But I was now. She reminds me. Are of the new my... neighbors here already, or are they coming later? Um, yeah, they're here now. <laughs> Great. Do you mind going in and letting them know that their neighbor's here to meet them? Sure. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm the new homeowner. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's my fault. I shouldn't be more clear. I'm Leslie. <laughs> You're a new neighbor. I... I have to go. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Yes. Come inside quickly. But I wanted to meet the nice lady. Now you listen to me. Stay away from her. She is not a nice lady. She may even be dangerous. You understand? But we don't even know her. We're not going to get to know her either. Now come inside. Now. I wish, honey, but Grandma's really sick. It'll at least help with the pain. But why doesn't she go see a doctor? Well, she does, but the doctor visits get expensive when you're as sick as Grandma is. But she'll be okay, though, right? Look, sweetheart. The whole thing is just, it's really complicated. But I think we should hope for the best. Okay. Okay? <laughs> you wanna grab some snacks while I wait in line? Yeah. Go ahead. Hello. Hi. Um, can I get some Dayquil, please? And something for pain? Hey, Mom. I'm here getting your medicine. What's up? Well, I just wanted to see if... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanted to see what you and Emily was doing tomorrow. The church is having a special service, and I wanted to see if the two of you could come with me. Oh, uh, let me think about it. Ma, you know how I feel about going to church. Please. It'll be an early birthday present for me. Okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, baby. Well, I'll talk to you later. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yes. <laughs> Let me help you with that. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't you the little princess that lives next door to me? <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm Leslie. I never got your name. I'm Emily. Princess Emily <laughs> has a nice ring to it. <laughs> what are those? Oh, psh, they're called tattoos. It's like art, but it's on my body. They remind me of my coloring book. I love them. Well, thank you. <laughs> You aren't here by yourself, are you? No, my mom's Who said you can talk to my daughter? I was just trying to... Did you follow with you? I uh, know, I'm actually shopping. You stay away from me and my family. Do you hear me? I'm not dumb. What is that supposed to mean? You're a criminal. That's what it means. 
I have the neighborhood safety app. I get the alerts. Okay. Don't know what to say to You me. speak to my daughter again, I'm filing a restraining order against you. I'm an attorney, you know. Ooh. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. I don't we're getting snacks. No, I remember we had snacks. Didn't I tell you not to talk to that woman? But she was just telling me to help me. Who snacks. knows what she would have done if I didn't show up? Now come on, and I better not have this conversation with you again. But let's go. What? And, as always, I invite you to share some names of loved ones who are struggling with disease, illness, or unforeseen medical conditions. Bernice Park. Edmund Gray. Eleanor Matthews. Our thoughts are with them all. Amen. If anyone is interested in doing any volunteer work, Sign-up sheets are in the front. You have got to be kidding me. We also have some What's that doing? Classes that are starting up. Uh, nothing. Just, I, I saw someone. I guess they let anybody in here these days. Oh, well, they always have, honey. It's church and everyone's welcome. Go in peace. For our mass has ended. Just give me a second. Watch Emma from... <clears throat> Here to confess your sins or steal from the collection plate? Look, if you don't have anything nice to say, I prefer we not communicate. You know, first of all, you move in next to me. Then you just show up at the convenience store and now you're at my church. It's like I can't get away from you. Trust me, it isn't enjoyable for me either. Leslie! Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my Hey, you two know each other? Yes! Oh, how the move go? Ah, oh, it was great. I'm so happy with my new home. You'll come by and see you one day? Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm so, excuse me. <coughs> I see you met my daughter, Karen. Oh, small world. I didn't realize she was your daughter. <laughs> I moved in next door to her. Oh, isn't that something? It must be fate. Something like that. Oh, no, I love to catch up. I have a few apartments at the shop I need to get to. Okay, baby. Well, you run them right along. And I, it was so nice to see you again. Hey. Didn't I tell you not to talk to her? I'm sorry. Mama, how do you know that woman? Well, she's been coming to the church for months and we've become friends. Friends? Well, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but your friend is a criminal. A criminal? Yes. Leslie? Oh, no. She is the sweetest no, thing. The she day just... she moved in, I got this alert. A new resident with a criminal record is moving into your neighborhood. Now, who do you think that's referring to? Oh, no. That must be some misunderstanding. It's probably somebody else. No, she was the only one that moved in, Mom. Not Leslie. She wouldn't harm a fly. <laughs> Have you seen the tattoos all over her body? Well, she owns a tattoo shop. And that doesn't make her a bad person. I mean, as long as I've been coming to this church for years, one thing that I know is you can't judge anybody until you get to know them. Well, in her case, I think this is the exception. I try to see the good in everybody. Okay. Mama, are you all right? Are you okay? Yes. I am so sorry you're not feeling well, Mama Lord. I prayed for you this morning. Thank you, Father. <clears throat> the whole church is doing everything we can to find someone. Stay strong. <coughs> Father. <coughs> Mama, are you taking the medicine that affects you? Yes. <coughs> Maybe I should take you to the doctor. Oh, no. <coughs> no, Mama, that does not sound good. Come on. Come on. No. No, let's go. I'm taking no. you right now. Right now, Mom. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Mm. I got you. 
<laughs> How's the cough? It's better. I'm glad the medicine's working. Well, I, um, I got the results. And? It's not very good. I thought we had six months, maybe 12. But it looks like her condition's gotten worse. <laughs> We're gonna need to operate soon, but we still don't have a donor. I said that I would give her my kidney. I can't, I can't, I can't say no for an answer, oh, Mom, no. Unfortunately, even though you are a match, as I explained to you before, with your underlying conditions, it's just not safe. Well, I'm willing to take those chances. You can't. can't. No. It's not that simple. See, even as a medical professional, I wouldn't even be allowed to do surgery on you if I wanted to. We have to find another solution. Oh. No, I, I, I have to. I'll do it. Oh. No, honey. You're, you're way too young. I want to do whatever it takes to save grandma. You're very thoughtful of you. But like your mom said, you're too little. Well, hopefully, we're gonna be able to... Father? Some people at the church told me that you live quickly, so I thought I'd come to see you. How are you? I've had better days. She doesn't like to make anyone worry, <laughs> but... It's worse than we thought. Dr. Rose just told us that we run out of time. I am so sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. But our good Lord has found someone. What? <laughs> yes. Oh. What are you doing here? Leslie. I was planning on surprising you on your birthday. But when Father Omar called me and told me you had to come to the hospital, I decided to tell you down. Gosh. I'm going to give you one of my kidneys. Really? Are you even a match? Really? Yes. I've already checked. Leslie's been planning this for some time and she made me promise not to say anything. I'm ready to start whenever you need me. Okay. We'll need to do some examinations and take care of some paperwork as soon as possible. I have a feeling everything's going to be just fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for sending us Leslie. Amen. Amen. Can you come with me? Oh, oh my. Oh, God. <laughs> Can I speak to you for a moment? We're on a short time frame, so please make it fast. I just wanted to tell you how much I, I appreciate you for what you're doing for my mother. We need her around for as long as possible. And she's a good person. And so are you. I just saw your tattoos all over and and then I got that notification on my phone. I thought you were some sort of convict or something. I shouldn't have judged you before getting to know you. And I'm sorry. Well, I am. My ex-husband was a cop with a bad drinking problem. A lot of nights he would get violent with me. One night, I decided to defend myself. When the cops came, or his friends, they didn't care about my black eye. All they cared about was a few scratches on his arms. 
So, I spent some time behind bars and he walked away. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a long time ago and he helped me get out of the relationship, so I'm grateful for that. I lost custody of my daughter. I can't remember the last time I saw her. It was, that's why it was so nice to talk to your daughter. I mean, oh, she reminded me of my I feel so terrible. I had no idea. How come you didn't go to court? Come on. A comic to a cop. Besides, attorneys are expensive and I don't have money for that. Well, it's a good thing that your neighbor happens to be a lawyer. So you see, Your Honor, not only was her ex-husband an abuser, but he also abused his power to wrongfully convict Leslie, who was using self-defense to protect herself and her daughter. She's lying! You gotta do something. You gotta oh, yeah? Something. You gotta... How do you explain this? Your Honor, we... I've heard That's enough. That, that was, I've heard enough. Something. Not only do I grant the plaintiff full custody of her daughter. What are you? I'm setting aside another court date to discuss having her record removed. And pursuing criminal charges against the defendant. Bela, you... let's keep him in our custody until then. Your honor, you can't do that. No, I'm a, I'm a cop. We'll see how long that lasts. This case is closed. Keep it all, Daddy loves you, okay? Daddy will be back. Don't worry, Daddy will be right with Congratulations! I missed you so much, Mommy. I missed you too, honey. I never want to be without you again. Don't worry, you won't be. I couldn't have done this without you. Oh, please. It's the least I can do. You saved my mom. <laughs> hey, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Emily. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Aaliyah. Princess Aaliyah. That has a nice ring, too. My mom always calls me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we go home to celebrate and I'll cook? Oh, I do. Yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> and I get to see your place, Leslie. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's go, honey. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Got it? Mm -hmm. Do you like to draw? Yeah, my mom always used to teach me how to draw. And that's great. We can draw when we get to my house. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message. Please remember that we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.